Hey, welcome guys. Thanks for joining today. Today we are going to take a look at the new gaming flagship XMG. Well, XMG is standing for Extreme Mobile Gaming and that's what it basically is. I mean, this is a very fast machine. This is the XMG P722 Pro model. But before we get started, let me say some things about the barebone. The P722 model here is based on the Clevo barebone P370EM, which is the same as Saber is using at their NP9370 model. And the beast weighs about 4.3 kg. Um, it is very solid and a very stable case. However, this is a hell of a machine and it's not only depending on the system specs, but also we've got the dual NVIDIA GeForce GDX 680M in SLI mode inside. And uh, this is a very impressive graphic card. Uh, it's actually the latest graphic card you can get on the market. And uh, we do have two of them inside. Uh, that means we've got a lot of power. But if you want to configure the system specs, you will get the choice between uh, the AMD Radeon 7970M or you choose the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 680M. That's what I did. And uh, so you can customize the way you prefer. Well, this laptop was particularly made for a merciless gaming performance. It's currently one of the most powerful notebook out there. Um, and I'm really excited to give you some information about this massive desktop replacement and it's definitely a DTR. Uh, we're going to run over a bunch of different things today. We're going to take a look at the screen, the keyboard, the processor, the ports, the sound system, and of course the graphic card as well. And I would say let's get started with the screen. Okay, now here we are at the screen. Uh, what do we have here is a 70.3 inch full HD LED backlit screen, which is offered in a glossy or a non-glossy finish. In this case, I chose the matte screen. I prefer a matte screen because, in my opinion, it's way better to work with. Uh, there is not such a disturbing reflectivity or light reflections uh, you can see on the screen when you're playing outside or in a bright room. Uh, to me, it's very disturbing. So I chose the matte screen and uh, I think it's much more comfortable to work. But that's a matter of what you prefer and, of course, what you need it for. Anyway, the resolution 1920 by 1080p ensures a sharp picture and you will have an awesome gaming experience as well. The brightness and contrast is very well, it's very nice and we do have a, a very nice color spectrum. And with its 70.3 inch display, you've got a lot, of, a lot of space to work on the screen. And of course, uh, on the top you will find the 2 megapixel camera, uh, but I think that's pretty standard. So, Okay, now let's go to the back side. Okay, now swinging over to the back side. Uh, the back side here is a very simple one, as you can see. Um, there is not much on. You can see it is all black. And um, the notebook lid is covered with a very pleasant um, rubberized material, but it would have been nice if they had put a logo or a tiny structure on instead of the rubberized surface all over the area. Uh, the material is very nice. It is very scratch resistant. Uh, and uh, the problem is, it does pick up fingerprints very quickly, so if you grab it, uh, you will see there are uh, a lot of fingerprints on after a while. Uh, but you can clean it uh, very easy, so I think that's not a problem. Um, let me say something about the viewing angle. Um, the viewing angle, as you can see, is not that far. So this is actually the widest viewing angle here. Um, but anyway, I don't care about it because uh, you will get the best result uh, if you're looking uh, directly with 90 degrees uh, to the screen. And all in all, I would say it's a nice screen. And let's go ahead to the keyboard. Okay, the keyboard is uh, a backlit keyboard including a number pad on the right hand side. Um, and around the keyboard area, uh, we have got a black aluminum frame, which is very fancy in my opinion. And uh, on the top you will find the Onkyo branding. And Onkyo is in charge of the sound, but we get back to it later on. First off, let me say something about uh, the backlit keyboard uh, illumination. And you can customize the backlit keyboard illumination with the including software at the control center. You will find it over here. And here we are at the interface, and there we got the standard three zone illumination. The left area can change to red or 
blue or what you want and the middle area and the right area for example yellow so there you can see uh, you can choose between these several colors here or you choose a pre-installed random program for example then it is doing some random stuff uh, to me it's very nice it's not that flexible as Alienware but uh, I think it's absolutely okay and uh, I would say let's go ahead to the touchpad okay so here in the middle we will find the touchpad area and uh, the touchpad is very special to me because it's just made of a single piece uh, there is no separation on the touchpad uh, you can click but you cannot see the clickers so to me it's a very nice thing and um, the only thing is that the friction could be better a little bit I think that uh, it's just when your hands are sweaty, sweaty or a little wet you cannot over swipe over it very well and I think in my opinion it could be a little bit better um, but all in all it's a nice touchpad it's a multi gesture touchpad with a scrolling function on the, sides, on the side and um, the palm rest area which is uh, made of the same rubberized material as you know at the back side of the screen uh, it is very comfortable to your hands uh, especially when you lay down and, and type all the keys so it's very nice and it's very comfortable to your hands um, and it stays cool even if the system uh, works very hard so uh, it doesn't uh, warm up very much so uh, it's very nice to to lay down the hands but uh, the problem is it does pick up fingerprints uh, very quickly so after a gaming session you gotta clean the whole thing again uh, and here on the right side uh, you can see there is the fingerprint reader which is also a nice feature uh, especially to uh, save your files or instead of the Windows password you can use your finger if your fingerprint to log in so uh, I think it's a very nice thing Okay, let's go over to the system specs. Okay, now, so what's inside? Um, we do have the third generation Intel Ivy Bridge i7-3740 Quad Mobile Processor inside, and that's a really fast one. We do have the dual NVIDIA GeForce GTX 680M with 4 gigs of video RAM GDDR5 with SLI technology. We've got 16 gigs RAM with a 16 megahertz and um, you can upgrade to a maximum of 32 gigs of RAM. For hard drive, we've got a 750 Seagate hybrid SATA 3 hard drive and a 128 SATA 3 SSD Samsung 830 series hard drive. The optical drive is a Blu-ray burner and reader and you can replace the optical drive with an additional hard drive if you want. So uh, then you've got three hard drives in and uh, that's basically a very hard system, a very fast system and uh, let's go and take a look to the ports okay now so coming to the ports um, on the left side we have the canceling lock jack over here uh, the RGA45 Ethernet port we do have a 9-in-1 card reader and the standard for audio ports, uh, the first one is the line in port, uh, the SPDIF port, uh, microphone, and the headphone jack. Okay, now swinging over to the front side. Uh, no ports on the front side, that's pretty standard. Um, the only thing is you can see uh, these four indicator LED lights. And uh, the first one is the Bluetooth connection, the Wi Fi connection, battery and the power LED lights but no ports in the front okay now coming to the right side of the notebook uh, first thing you can see uh, this is the optical drive it's not the standard DVD optical drive uh, it's an upgrade to the blu-ray burner and reader and it's not that expensive it's just about uh, 30 bucks I think and um, next to the optical drive this is the eSATA USB 2.0 combo drive and uh, there you got three USB 3.0 ports, uh, but the first one here is a USB 3.0 uh, power port, and there you can charge your cell phone or your iPod or uh, something you want, uh, even if the system is shut down. 
Okay, now last but not least, here we are at the back side, and the first thing you see are these two big exhausters here, uh, which are responsible for the GPU cooling. Uh, they are really nice with the chrome frame around, looks very angry, uh, fairly nice look in my opinion. And uh, in the middle you will find an additional exhauster uh, for the CPU cooling. Uh, next to the first exhauster, this is an HDMI port, uh, the display port, the AC jack of course, and uh, there you got another USB 3.0 port. And that's it on the back side. I would say let's go ahead with the sound. Okay now, so let's quickly run over the sound system. Uh, well, the audio sound is provided by Onkyo. And uh, Onkyo is a Japanese sound expert. Uh, they put two speakers in here. And a subwoofer underneath. Can I show you that? You can see. Subwoofer underneath, and uh, I want to give you a little sound check now, just so you can hear what it is. So, um, hopefully they could hear something. Uh, well, the sound is a very clean sound. The bass quality is very nice. Um, you gotta keep in mind, this is not a home entertainment system. This is just a notebook. But for a notebook, the sound quality is very amazing. I really like it. Uh, it's a very nice sound. And the last thing I'm gonna show you is uh, a little gaming experience, just to see what the thing is made of. Okay, so here we are uh, playing some Call of Duty Black Ops 2 and uh, let's take a quick look to the options here, um, to the settings that you can see we're playing on the highest resolution here. Um, the graphics, screen resolution, we do have a full HD 9020 by 1080 um, The shadows are on high, uh, ragdoll is enabled and uh, there we are, the texture quality extra, you can see there is low, normal, high and extra, the maximum. Uh, the texture filtering is on high. Uh, FXA and all the other things are on high. And uh, we do a platis. Yes. And now we're looking for a game.
Okay, so thank you very much for watching this video review. 
So this notebook proves that it's able to take it up with the latest games and running them on the highest resolution uh, without losing any quality. So with this system you're definitely prepared for the upcoming games and it's a very stunning performance. And if you like the video, so please subscribe. If you have any question, then uh, feel free to ask. And again, thank you very much for watching.